public schools, but also you have an affirmative agenda, I assume, for the schools. What are the things that are most important to you to do as a school board member? Because if you turn on Fox News or any of those channels, they think that if Nick is running for school board, his agenda is some wild conservative fear mongering, right? Problem. But maybe that's true. I don't know. I haven't talked to you about it. So like if you have an agenda, like the top three or five things, what are the things that you concretely would want to try to accomplish as a school board member? Definitely. So uh, we got a lot of opportunity uh, in this race to talk about things that we want to fight for. Uh, The only limit is that I am running in a special election for a term that lasts for one year. And so we need to be realistic about what we can deliver for voters while also making the case for why we need to continue when I run for Mm re-election next year. I think the top thing is making sure that we've got a literacy curriculum that works for every student. Um, Since before COVID, we've seen literacy scores that were subpar to where we need them to be. Um, And that extends uh, largely from the fact that we have a literacy curriculum that isn't rooted in what the research suggests works best for students. Um, So we're very much uh, right sort of on the opportunity of adopting a curriculum that is more phonics based, um, you know, and consists of decoding and Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the really great science backed um, strategies for our students. And I believe that that will work really well. And um, on top of adopting it, what we really need to do is make sure that we thoroughly implement it. That means giving every student um, and teacher the supports that they need for this adjustment. It means making sure that in every room where we are teaching literacy, and that includes English language learner classes um, and, you know, for students with disabilities, uh, that this is being done is being done right. And I think that um, that gets us very far when it comes to literacy. I think the literacy is a foundational educational element for all our students. And, you know, Lord knows you're not diving deep into uh, European history if uh, you didn't quite master third grade reading. And, um, you know, we've seen the scores and the scores based on a subgroup as well for students with IEPs, for students from economically disadvantaged backgrounds, and for students of color are much lower. And so, you know, if you want to talk about equity in our schools, let's start with literacy and let's tackle that. I think we can also be a lot smarter about school infrastructure. Um, Here in Loudoun County, we've got a very sharp divide uh, between our oldest schools, which are close to 60, 70 years old, Mm. and the newest ones uh, we opened you know, two high schools in the last two or three years. Um, And they're, you know, state of the art, fantastic. Um, But the oldest schools haven't seen uh, much renovation or much attention in quite some time. And so I think that we can be a lot smarter and adopt um, some of the guiding principles that we use for transportation um, infrastructure upgrades here in the Commonwealth of Virginia for school infrastructure. Um, My delegate, Delegate David Reed, planned uh, to introduce a bill Uh, sort of modernizing our school infrastructure across the Commonwealth of Virginia. And unfortunately, that uh, did not make it to the floor. But I think that we can adopt a local version of that that really guides our capital improvement program um, and is really smart about the way that we make sure that no school facility is left behind. Um, Because as it stands now, unless the superintendent recommends that, you know, a certain project gets done, or um, like we just saw here, Uh, a few weeks ago with one particular school, unless the parents and the students uh, are really loud and passionate about showing that they need renovations or complete reconstructions. Um, Sometimes things will fall through the the cracks or are not prioritized the way that they need to be. And that's just such a disservice to our teachers and to our students and our families. So, um, you know, I think that those are really realistic goals to accomplish in the year. I think that um, it takes someone who has a forward thinking vision um, with a track record of delivering results. And I, I think that I've got that. And I think that the voters want to see those changes implemented. 